Welcome to Selenium Master Selenium Python WebDriver video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to compare images in your test automation. When testing web applications or Windows applications, in some cases you need to compare images. Using Python OpenCV library, and some Python built-in functions, you can compare images. Now let's see a few images and find out how we can compare them. On this window, I have one JPEG, two JPEG, three JPEG, and four JPEG. I have four JPEG images. So from the image size, the image 1 and image 2 looks identical and they look exactly the same. And image 3, the size looks the same as image 2. However, image 3 has a square inside the image and these pixels are different from the pixels on image 2. And image 4, the size is different from image 1, image 2 and image 3. So in this example we can compare four images each other and find out if images are identical or different. So we use the Python OpenCV library package for installing Python OpenCV library package you can check out website OpenCV-Python tutorials dash redux.org and this is the HTML file so you can check out this website for more information now I will explain how to compare images so I defined a class name it image compare and I initialized the class use def and self uh, print compare images in Python. So when we compare images, we use the following methods. First, we load the image using im read function. We read the image, and second is we get the number of rows, columns, and the channels of the image. And third, we compare the number of rows of image 1 with the number of rows of image 2. And we compare the columns each other and the channels. If rows, columns and channels are different, then the images are different for sure. If rows are the same, columns are the same, and the channels are the same, then we need to compare each pixel on each row and column intersection. So as we see on the image, even if image 2 and image 3 are identical in width and height, or in size, the images are different because we have different pixels on image 3. So in addition to comparing number of rows, number of columns and the channels, we need to compare the pixel on every row and column intersection and compare them. To compare easier I get sum of 
pixel on every point and compare the pixel each other. So by using this approach, we can compare if two images are identical or different. Now let's look at the code line by line. So I defined a function def compare self image one and image two. So match is a boolean variable. First it is false. So image one equals cv2 dot im read image. So we read image one and we read the image two and we get the row columns channels of image one using image one dot shape function. This function is a built in function of CV2 open CV library and it returns the number of columns, number of rows and the channels. Using the same method we return number of rows, number of columns and the channels of image 2. Now we print out image 1 rows row 1 and image 2 rows image 1 columns image 2 columns and we print image 1 channels and image 2 channels. So now if row 1 does not equal to row 2 or columns 1 not equal to columns 2 or channels 1 not equal to channel 2 then we print two images are different and the boolean function match equals to false and this returns match this function will return false else else means the rows are identical columns are the same and the channels are the same then we count the number of mismatch in these two pictures so define a variable mismatch equals to zero for i in range one to row one that means the for loop from one to the number of rows of image one and for j in range 1 columns 1 so from 1 to number of columns of image 1 now we get pixel at the row and column intersection and also get pixel 2 or equals image 2 row and column that means for the same row number and column number we get the pixel and pixel normally return rgb the three data as an array so to compare them easily i get the sum of the pixel one and get the sum of pixel two that means for every row and column get the sum of pixels of image one and compare the number against the sum of pixels of image two and if this sum is different then we add one to the mismatch number then print out total mismatch is so if mismatch equals to zero that means if everything is the same and there is no mismatch then this match returns true that means two images are identical and if the mismatch not equal to zero then match returns false then return match so this is the main function used for comparing images now I defined another function, uh, another Python script. This script is image test runner. This test runner
we'll use the previously defined function. So from Selenium master compare image, this is the file name from Selenium master compare image that Python import image compare. This is the image compare function uh, class. So we import this class. Now we define an instance of the class image compare equals to image compare class. So now a equals to image compare dot compare because compare is a function. So we compare one against the image two. So now then print images equal. This is a boolean expression. So if images are equal, it will return true. And if images are different, it will return false. So it's very simple. Image compare equals to the instance of image compare class in the Selenium master compare image Python file. And we define a boolean variable a equals to image compare dot compare. We compare image one to the second image. So one dot JPEG to the JPEG. Now let's use run and run module. Source must be saved. Click OK to save. Yes. So this test result showed that image one has a hundred rows, image two has a hundred rows, image one has a hundred thirty three columns, image two has a hundred thirty three columns, and the channel number is three, image two channel is three, total mismatch is zero. That means the two images are identical. And as we see, one JPEG is identical to two JPEG. So now let's compare the other one. One to three. So save it and let's run it. Run module. So this result displays that image one has a hundred rows, image two has a hundred rows. Image 1 has 133 columns. Image 2 has 133 columns. Image 1 channel is 3. Image 2 channel is 3. And total mismatch is 12,185. So even if the number of rows and columns and the channels are the same, we have different pixels. So that's why the two images are different. As we see on the images, the 3.jpg has a square, so this portion is different. Now let's run the image. Let's compare image 1 against image 4. So save it. Now let's run it. So image 1 has 100 rows, image 2 has 150 rows. Image 1 has 133 columns, image 2 has 200 columns, and channel 3. Because number of rows and number of columns are different, the two images are different. So as explained in this video tutorial, you can always use OpenCV Python library to compare images. And in this example, I explain how to compare images that are saved on the local desk. In order to compare images that is on the web page, you can always save the image from the website and use the function to compare them. In our next video tutorial, I will explain how to save image on your local desk from a remote web server or web page. For written instruction, please visit 
www.seleniummaster.com Thanks for watching.